So with the Federal Reserve effectively just printing money, do you want to kind of give us just a brief 101 on, you know, what this means to, to purchasing power and the fact that, you know, in order to try to stabilize this at the moment, we're literally just printing trillions and trillions of dollars. Yes, uh, we in the back 1970, 72 or so, under when Jimmy Carter was the president, we, uh, we had a situation that's similar to what's going on right now. Uh, the federal government spent so much money and that money flows out into eventually the hands of the citizens. And they, with all that extra money, start spending it. And if you, if you, if you, if you spend a lot of money on a product and there's not supply enough product to go around, you drive the price up. And that's what's happening. You, uh, if all this money chasing few, too few goods drive the price of that product up. And that's what inflation is all about. And right now, uh, we have trillions of dollars floating around out there uh, that are being, it's being spent. And, it's, and because of a variety of reasons, there's not a supply of goods or services available. So the price of gasoline is up 40%. Price of a, 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 a slab of bacon is up 20%. I mean, everything has gone up in the United States, all because there's too much money floating around and not enough supply of goods. Mm. And uh, that, that's going to come back and haunt uh, this president in our midterms in 2022, uh, because it all gets down in, in, in the pocket bush, book issues. I mean, we're all concerned about school. We're all concerned about a lot of different things. But if you don't have enough money to feed yourself and your family or to pay your rent or your mortgage, uh, that, gets down to, to, that gets down to where it starts hurting personally. Mm-hmm. And it'll, and it'll in, greatly influence the next elections that, uh, come, that uh, happen, which will happen in 2022 here in the United States.